operations. Weatherman has just always been that constant, you know, little feeling on your shoulder that you know you got some backup out there at the end of the microphone. It's kind of eerie sometimes being out in the middle of the desert and I've been doing it for a lot of years and there's no safety net and there's no assurances and there's no safety crew really, but at least you know, generally speaking, somewhere in the air is Bob Steinberger. It's not just sitting on a mountain. It's not at some uh, radio location. He's there because he loves the sport and he loves the racers. When you're down in Baja, you have BFG Relay and you have the weatherman. Uh, between those two, that's your survival. That's your lifeline. There's been a couple occasions where he's uh, he's always our friend, but he's been your he's been my buddy for you know four, five, six, twelve hours a couple of times where. Where he's the guy I can talk to, and he's the guy who's saying they're still on their way. Definitely, we've talked to him a lot on the radio, used him in case of emergency, used him for status. For me, really the fun times is after the race, and you hear Weatherman after he's beat down all day. Those are the memories that I have when people are asking for, you know, status. You know, people don't realize, you know, they say, God, he gets kind of grumpy sometimes. I'm like, God. 48 hours straight, everybody gets grumpy. A lot of, lot of great times listening to him on the radio talk, and uh, it's always like I'm waiting to hear what he's gonna say next, because he's always got those neat little uh, little stories, little sentences that he tells uh, when he's uh, doing his radio communications. He lashes out every once in a while, and I, I like that part of Bob. I like that part of the weatherman, that you, know, you can get a verbal spanking over the air, and everybody is listening. <laughs> well, you know, I guess, Maybe Bob missed his calling. He should have been a, uh, a DJ, you know? He, he puts more into it, you know? And, he, and he's got this personality that is unique to the weather. I'm so delighted uh, that he is being inducted in the uh, Off-Road Motorsports Hall of Fame. He's brought so much to the sport of off-road racing. And I think it's awesome to see these great off-road racers get the credit that's due and have Bob getting inducted I think is totally fitting. I mean the number of people he's rescued, saved, been there for, a shoulder to cry on, someone to respect and I think it fits perfect and I'm stoked to see Bob in the Hall of Fame. Well the weatherman you know I can't thank him enough for always being there not only for myself or the whole off-road community um, you know I, I really appreciate that we really have to thank him for that uh, from the bottom of our hearts. I actually got a great call from one of my best friends in off-road racing he had an accident at the Baja 500 a couple years ago and it was bad and he actually called me up after the race and he thanked my dad for saving his wife's life so it was pretty cool. Really got to thank him for what he does and all the dedication they put into our sport. Congratulations for being in the Hall of Fame. Congratulations weatherman. To you Bob, congratulations. It's been great all these years working with you. Very, very well done. Thank you for all your tireless hours and hard work and giving us eyes and ears out in Baja, California. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I copy that, weatherman. Thank you very much.